What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the madness. Today, I wasn't going to do this video, but just because the new Axe Effects uh, software came out, version 20.0, I just wanted to kind of do something real quick. So, let's see what the hell happens. You might see a little red mark right here. I smashed my head into my door earlier today. I've had a really great day in that way. So, let's just get this thing going, shall we? All right, so as you can see, I have just launched the new Axe Edit, and so I'm just gonna download it with this thing on here. You know, I'll cut this stuff out eventually, but it don't really matter right now. I'm just gonna download the thing, go through it, first impressions, just like kind of you would, and then you can see my approach to what happens when a new patch comes out. Let's see what the patch notes are, considering, you know, that's the whole point of getting a new patch. Happens to be on a Friday. It's a great time to get a patch, so you have time to tinker with it. Speaking of which, I guess while I'm waiting for this thing to load up, I have a feeling I'm going to have to... I'm a dumbass. So I'm going to have to reset my axe effect. I guess we'll have to see, and you'll have to hear from me in a second. All right, we're back. Because that took a long ass time, now I can actually do this correctly. So, let's just go ahead and get started on that again. Alright, so here's the patch notes. I've pulled them up, and we're just going to kind of go through each individual bullet, you know, and kind of check it out. See if it's something worth looking into, and I'll show you what, it, you know, what I find about it that seems interesting, and relay the message a little bit, so you don't have to sit there and think so hard about what the hell these things all mean. The new algorithm allows placing amp blocks in series without the con... What the fuck is a concomitant? I'll tell you, sometimes I read words and I don't even know what the hell they mean. So once again, I'm just going to Google what is a concomitant. Naturally accompanying or associated. Fractal Audio coming in here with the huge vocabulary apparently. Okay, so what this thing is saying is when you've got a mixer block, boom. Okay, so this is what we can do now, apparently. Now when you change scenes, apparently, it's quiet. I guess it used to make some, some sound bursts. At one so what it looks like to me is that the new algorithm, if you set it to zero, then all of the modeling that's going on within right here. So when you turn this up past zero, it begins the new loudspeaker modeling. And so now you apparently get a smoother and more focused sound. Give it a whack. Apologize if this is a little bit loud. Let's go down to zero. got dynamic distortion. Ooh, let's give it a whack. So what they're saying is we've got these different um, we've got these different presets now available to us in this new block. So let's just go flat. Let's see what happens. Then we've got these different filters. We got filter type, frequency, Q, gain, clip shape, bias, drive, mono, stereo, level, pan. We've got a filter here. Let's just do a uh, yeah, let's do a peaking. Let's see, what do we want the gain to be? I think nothing too crazy like that. Let's increase our Q. Make it a little bit more narrow. Make it 3 dB. 3 dB is the half power, so you're giving 50% more power to the signal on these specific frequencies. And then let's change the frequency to, where do we want it? Let's see that. Clip shape. How do we want it? It's medium, soft, medium. I'm just going to leave it medium. Bias. 
This is which way the voltage swings. So, as we said before, when it's at zero, obviously, no gain. Except for on those frequencies. Let's try out around 600 mids. Sounds nice. Let's give it some treble. Turn the bias up. Turn the drive up a bit too. or so. see here stereo let's try it let's try changing the clip shape so hard and so hard clipping is basically when the top of the signal flattens out because too much voltage was sent and not enough of it can be read in so it just kind of clips the top off the signal. That's what they mean by clipping. And hard clipping means it's cutting off more of the signal. So maybe the, the top looks like this, you know, or like something like that, but now it's only flat where those peaks would have been normally. Let's try out some other ones. Depth boost. to the actually let's use some of this uh speaker drive because we're feeling like we want to test everything out mid boost let's go all right now let's try out some, something else let's do mid cuts so it's basically just showing you what, what we're going through here basically is shaping this filter, right? That's that's exactly what we're doing when we're changing these, right? You know, the Q might go around, change pivoting on the filter in order to make certain parts of the filter stand out more than others, but the way to read this really is just... good I think we've seen enough of this so let's go to the next part added ability to use pre-delay in reverb block as a simple echo pre-delay in the reverb block right here pre-delay in the reverb block let's try it out this might be good Maybe 
Crossover frequency, so that's the center point. That's the center point. The load freak decay time, so the lower end of the spectrum. How long is it going to take to delay? Here it's saying two seconds, but I'm going to say I want about 1.22. And I want the high decay time to be a little bit longer. Let's try the mix. Got to increase the mix in order to hear it, right? So what I'm thinking now is I'm just gonna, you know, tinker around with this reverb block for a second. We'll just go right up here to, oh, what's this hell? Let's just do Nimbo Stratus because we're feeling cool. Interesting, we've got a stack and hold. Do we want to stack? Let's try stacking. <laughs> Interesting that you can put this on an LFO. When I create this LFO, is that I'm guaranteeing that it's only, it's, for the most part, it's staying below the halfway point, right? Because of the way I shaped it. So look, stack, off, stack, off. That way I'm guaranteeing that it doesn't turn into a feedback loop. So yeah, now you can kind of do all sorts of pre-delay tricks with this block. I kind of like it. Pretty good patch so far. Fixed amp block scene, ignore not being recalled currently in some cases. Okay, well, we're not going to test that because it's no longer in the, in the thing anyways. Fixed USB buffer level setting not sticking between power cycles. Interesting. Okay. Layout link configured on a tap function for a foot switch will no longer incorrectly execute when activating the switch exits the tuner. Okay. So apparently when you used to click certain switches, it would exit the tuner. Fair enough. Various other fixes and improvements. Great. So that was it. That was pretty much everything that the new patch 20.0 has to offer you. I hope you guys slap like, subscribe, do whatever floats your boat, guys. For God's sake, if nothing else in this life, do what floats your boat. Catch on the flippy floppy.